Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I was able to predict this drop a week in advance from 53k, where we find support, also this pump right here from 46,700, and that ultimately I think we are headed down to 39,200 by September 23rd, and potentially much lower by October, f or around October 1st, because I'm expecting a potential stock market crash, or at least a major correction on this date. So we're going to cover all of that. Uh, by the way, guys, if you don't like this content, make sure you give it a dislike. And if you don't want to be notified when I have future videos, make sure you uh, do not subscribe. So listen, uh, my Twitter is private. You have to be subscribed to my charts to get access. But do I do occasionally make posts on uh, in the community section of YouTube. If you notice, this is one day ago. I said Bitcoin price dropping. Notice where we found support. Orange line on G1 chart was resistance and is currently holding us support. This, this orange line here at 50,690. If BTC breaks below, yellow ring could be support just like the previous orange ring. I'll cover that in just a bit. Take note the 21 week moving average looks like it could be headed down to my target on September 23rd. So I was saying if we break below this orange line, this yellow ring could be support. Take note the 21 weeks moving down to this target, right? 39,264. And this is how it played out. We, we dropped from 53K. We found support on the 21 week. And when I show you the actual chart, you'll notice we, we pushed back up and we found support on this, this uh, yellow ring. Uh, this was, again, Twitter where I make posts. It was the same post about this chart. And, but not just that, this was, this was on September 1st, I was telling you where to buy in. If you notice the C1 chart, we found support at 46,500. H1 chart, we found support. And we found support right on this yellow ring. And this further confirmed for me, since we were expecting this yellow ring like the previous orange ring, there was likely we would get a pump and then we would get a dump back down to the ring. So we are going to cover this. So again, I'm going to show you this chart. I'm going to show you what I'm expecting. I think we could push up to potentially 49,000 before dropping lower. We're going to cover that. I'm going to give you some price targets in this video as well. Uh, so this, so this right here, this, these are my videos. Um, if I put my mouse over it, it starts playing. But notice it says Bitcoin to drop 10,000 over the next month before the final plunge on October 1st, 2021. This was one week ago. This is the video. I'll put a link up to this now if you want to check it out. By the way, all of these videos I'm referencing, I will have a link in the description and pinned as the first comment. But let me play a clip of this for you real quick. So I think, so I think the same, same thing, thing is going to play out. Just, just like, like played out here, we move down this orange ring to this point. I think over the next month, we're going to move down this yellow ring. It's either going to be supports, probably drop blows resistance, maybe come up as support, but I think we will bottom at this point. So over the next month, I expect us to come down to potentially, we're gonna drop potentially 10,000. And and again, this was this was August 29th. I was telling you in advance what to pay attention to. Uh, this was this was two videos back. This was the one, uh, it's called uh, Bitcoin Calm Before the Storm. This was September 6th. I'll put a link up to this video now if you wanna check it out. Again, this will be pinned in the first comment in the description. But, and, and I basically showed you exactly how this would play out. Let me play a little clip of this for you real quick. This previous ring, we got rejected at it, found support, support pushed up, support pushed up, it became resistance. We bottomed right here. It is still very possible, as long as we're below this point, we could come back down and bounce off this ring until we get to this target on the, 20, the 23rd of September. And I was making it very clear in this video that 53,500 was very strong resistance. So that would be the likely point to short. And if you shorted, you did pretty well. If you shorted from 53K, you would have bought down here and you, you could ride it up. It pushed up a good bit. But again, I still think we're headed down to this target. Uh, let's go back to this chart. So guys, what I'm saying is, and this is this is what I was trying to show you. You know, this, this orange ring is, is this, this yellow ring, this orange ring is the same FIP circle. And you can see this is how it played out. Since this was resistance back here, then we found perfect support, support pushed up, support, support, support. Then when you're below it, it was resistance. So it made sense since we topped out at this ring as resistance, that if we found support and pushed up, it'd be playing out just like this previous ring. And so that's what happened. We pushed up, we got topped out, we dropped right to this ring. And notice where we found support. We found almost perfect support right on this ring. Again, that further confirms to me that we're going to ride down this ring. And I think our target will be 39,264 um, by September 23rd. So again, we could we could push up. And now pay attention. We do have this orange trend line here, which will be resistance. And we have this ring right here that will be resistance. So if we push up, you know, we could push up to potentially 40... 
around 49,000 before getting rejected. So we could push up and then potentially come back down. This would be a point to buy. This this might be where the 21 week moving average will be. We'll have to see. At any point we get below this, every time you come up and, come up and test it, this is a point you would short. short. But I do think ultimately we're headed to this target here. So this brings me to, uh, I'm going to cover the DXY as well. Uh, and also this line right here, where I'm expecting um, a substantial correction for the uh, U.S. stock market. So, you know, I, I've been covering the DXY. Again, all these charts are accessible on my website. They all play out live. And I was telling you um, that, you know, all these, these YouTubers, you know, they're calling for 100,000, 150,000. They're, they're, they're using Bitcoin charts, looking at patterns, but they're not taking into account, you know, global markets, the U.S. stock market, the U.S. dollar, you know, to be able to predict what's going to happen, you need to take into account, you know, what's going on with the U.S. markets because Wall Street is tied in to Bitcoin. If if the dollar is pushing up, Bitcoin is going to come down. If the markets are going up, you know, Bitcoin is probably going to go up with it. If the dollar starts crashing, you probably want to be long on Bitcoin. So you need to take into account the U.S. markets. You know, if you're going to predict what's going to happen with Bitcoin, you can't just use Bitcoin charts alone. But this was a fake out, and I said that in the previous videos. That this this is a falling wedge, a bullish pattern. It dropped down. Notice we found perfect support right here, and I said this is probably a bear trap for the U.S. dollar. We started pushing up. Bitcoin came down. Uh, this is now. This is the chart that I'm predicting. Um, uh, October 1st, we're going to have a lot of downside for the U.S. stock market. Now, I, I have a video, I'll show you this in just a sec, where I go into detail about uh, this chart and about six or seven other charts that further confirms for me this is where we're going to have a major correction for the Dow Jones, and this will also affect the other markets as well, the NASDAQ, S&P 500. What I'd like to point out, when we had our COVID crash, the Dow dropped a total of about 30, 38%. Bitcoin dropped around 68%. You know, so our first support level down here, notice we bottomed right here. Our first support level. So if we dropped 30, let's see, if we dropped 36, 38%, Bitcoin dropped 68%. If, if, the, if the Dow drops a total of 41%, imagine how much Bitcoin's going to drop. So, so I'm saying if you're heavily invested in the stock market, and crypto, you need to watch this video. Out of all the videos I put out, this is one video you need to watch. I'll put a link up to now if you want to check it out. Again, this video will be the link for this video will be in the uh, pinned as first comment in the description. But do watch this video. I go into detail explaining multiple charts why I'm very confident we're going to have a major correction for the stock market on October 1st. Uh, these are your current uh, support and resistance levels. Uh, you notice we've been getting a lot of resistance right here at 47,400. Uh, your current support right now is 45,976. Your support below is around 44,700. Keep in mind, as I said right here, if we push up, uh, let me grab the price label here. If we push up, you know, watch to possibly get rejected around close to 49,000. It is very possible we could push up and then come back down and hold support. So watch around 48,700 to 49,000. If we push up to get rejected, that does play along with this chart here. This is going to be a lot of resistance around 49,000. But guys, that's pretty much it. If you do want to access these charts, again, all these charts play out live. You can access them on my website. It's optgartcrypto.com. The link will be pinned in the first comment and description. And I also have tutorials teaching you this method of charting so you can create these charts for yourself if you're interested. Guys, that's it. Till the next video, I'm out.